Hi, this is Nick with Wolf Man Repairs, and today we got Game Boy Color. All right, this is the cool one that's like clear and purplish, and yeah, it's missing the back cover. Anyway, I got this from my brother. He had mailed it down to me, and uh, he didn't say what was going on with it. So you know, I texted him. You know, what's the deal with this Game Boy Color? This is the response I get. Do you even game, bro? Well, no, sometimes, not really, I don't want to have the time, I'm usually just fixing stuff, anyway, I don't know what the deal is with this, from the vague response I got, but I'm assuming it has something to do with the speakers, since there's speakers jammed on in there, what else is in there, anything good, so let's dump some batteries in, and let's see what's going on, uh, Mario, come here, it's a me. Where's the power switch? Oh, we got no sound. It seems to work. No sound. All right. Well, that probably explains why there's speakers everywhere. So let's go ahead and take this apart. We got a, one of them cheap aftermarket speakers that we're not going to put in. Those always are horrible. It looks like we have the OEM speaker as well. So I'm assuming my brother tried to change the speaker on this. You know what? We got this here. Speaker from Funny Playing. Maybe we'll just pop this into this guy and see if it works. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Alright, what do we need? We need Tri-Wing. Try wing screwdriver. Stat. All right. It should be. Ah, oh, missed one. Get them all now. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Definitely an aftermarket speaker in there. Probably some home wire in here too. That doesn't look right. All right. Let's break it down more so we don't melt the uh, case when we do anything. Cause uh, I did that last time and no one seemed to enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny, but no one else did. All right, so there should be three screws here. A one. A two. And a three. Come on. Alright, pop the screen out. Come on, you. There you go. There you go. Alright. Okay. So it looks like we got two connections there. I wonder if it matters which way it goes. Let's see if the new funny playing one has any indication of how it goes. Well, I don't see a positive or a negative. So I think I will just hook them up and hope for the best. All right, let's get this old speaker out of here. All right, let's put a little, a little flux down. Let's 
see if we could melt and pull at the same time. There we go. Old speakers out. Let's clean out the holes. I had to put a little more solder in there to get the rest of it out. Why is this not working? Sorry, we'll grab our little solder sucker here. Melt it. How do we fill up the other hole? Oh, come on. All right, now the holes are clear. Get out of here, speaker. All right, now let's try to jam the funny playing one in here. I give you like barely enough wire to have it hanging out just a little tiny little bit well, let's see if I can do this without burning my fingers I think I got it all right let's do the uh, the other one Okay, speaker is soldered in, all right. Let's clean off the flux a little bit. Okay. Let's just put the back cover on because we should still get sound even if we don't have the screen plugged in. Okay, we have the volume cranked one way, all the way. Let's crank it the other way. No, nothing. Okay. Take these batteries out. So I'm assuming it was not a speaker issue because we have a brand new speaker in there now. What I am assuming it is, is a capacitor issue. So, I do have a capacitor kit sitting here for a Game Boy Color. Because the last one I did, I bought a five pack. So, let's get these capacitors changed out and see if that changes anything. Or it could be this headphone jack. This headphone jack kind of looks a little iffy anyway. Let's mess with the headphone jack first. Got a pair of headphones here. Just gonna jam it in here a couple times. Also gonna soak it down with a little IPA because it looks like it is a little corroded. This headphone jack. And sometimes these headphone jacks can cause you to have no sound because they think that a pair of headphones is plugged in. A 
Let's see if we can see in there. All right, well, let's give it another try with the batteries and stuff. Nothing. All right, let's change the capacitors. See what we got after that. All right, for these I'm gonna use a little low melt solder. See if that helps to get them off nice and easy. A little flux. All right, our last one is now attached. Cool. So let's clean this up. Let's throw it back in the case. Let's see what we got now. Still nothing. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. Let's go ahead and try clean this here scroll wheel out. Sometimes there's corrosion that gets in there and prevents it from adjusting the sound. This is just an IPA on this brush. I'm just soaking it down real good. And then I'm just gonna turn the wheel a bunch of times. 
and that will help dislodge any dirt or grossness that might be in there. Let me just look at this headphone jack again too. Alright, when you put the headphones in, there's a little piece of metal that moves around. So I'm wondering if that contact between the little piece of metal and this piece of metal here, this little square, is not good. So I'm going to try to scrape that a little bit. Another way to test it out, we plug the headphones in with the game in and see if, uh, if we get sound. Let's try that. I heard the, mic the speaker click. Let's grab the headphones here. All I hear out of the headphones is humming. Hmm. Oh! I hear the game out of the headphones now. That was weird. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear this. I'll put the headphone up to the uh, speaker on uh, the microphone on the, on the uh, camera here. I'm going to do it again. So it is making sound. I think we just have this issue here with the uh, headphone jack. Let's try it without it, the headphones in. Okay. We definitely have sound on the headphones. But no sound out of the speaker. Hmm. Alright, so I think our culprit here is the headphone jack itself. So, because we're getting audio through the headphones, but we're not getting any audio through the speaker. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder the headphone jack, let that soak in vinegar for a little while, because it is a little corroded. Do you see how it's all uh, brown? And this is the little, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little like finger in here that moves when the headphones are inserted. So if that's not making good contact, we're not going to get sound out of the speaker. So let's desolder the headphone jack. It looks like it's just four, four posts. And uh, see if that does anything. Well, well, what I'm saying is we'll desolder it, soak it in vinegar, put it back on, and see if that does anything. All right, let's get this out of here. A little low melt solder once again.
some of this excess solder out of here because I can't see what's going on. Okay, it looks like I got all the solder out, most of it anyway. I do believe these legs are a little bent, so they stay in there at the factory. Let's just see something real quick. Yeah, it's only the four posts. All right, so two are definitely out. Still gotta work on the back two. I don't know why this is not just falling out. It should just kind of fall out. Is this one connected? It might be. Let's find out. Oh, it is. Oh, man, there's, there's five connections, guys, not just four. Oy, what a mess. I hope I didn't burn this board too much. Looks like it's cleaning up. Ow! No alcohol hurts on the cuts. All right, let's get this these holes cleared out. Looks good enough. So there's our headphone jack. So we got five legs, not four, five. So let's go ahead and dunk this into uh, some white vinegar and let it sit for a little bit. Don't spill it. Don't spill it. Don't spill it. All right, cool. All right, let's throw it on in there and we'll come back in a few minutes. All right, guys, well, I've had this soaking for a while and I've been coming in here and messing with it occasionally, and jamming the headphone jack in and out of it. And what I noticed is if you look in this little hole, there's little fingers. See, they're sticking out right now. But if you unplug the headphone jack, the fingers go back in. And that's how it makes contact so that it bypasses to the speaker. Now, when you have the headphone jack plugged in, you shouldn't get continuity between this point and this point here. So, headphone jack's plugged in. Got our, our meter. So from inside point to this point, no continuity. I don't know if you can see that. But you unplug it. And why don't we have continuity? There it goes. So now we have continuity. So I'm assuming that this is going to work now. Let's just scrape it a little more. What I've been doing is coming in here and trying to scrape underneath these fingers where the fingers cut 
touch, come in contact with this other post so that it has a nice clean surface to go on to. Let's spray it out with some contact cleaner now. Get this vinegar out of here. Also work this in back and forth a few times. <coughs> oh, whoa, this contact cleaner. Woo! Oh, <coughs> oh God. All right, now we should have. Let's check it again. We have intermittent continuity. Like, what's going on here? I wonder if I could buy a replacement headphone jack. If I try to bend these fingers down a little bit. Let's give that a try again. Or is it this outside one? Oh, there you go. It's <laughs> the outside one. See, now we don't have continuity at all. But when we take the headphone jack out, we have continuity. So I think we did go ahead and fix this here headphone jack let's stuff it back in and cross your fingers hope it works All right, let's clean her up and see what we got. Where's the brush? Uh, we burnt the board a little bit, but oops. Okay. you back in here a little battery action a little game action all right let's see all right <laughs> we got the sound working all right let's throw it all back together now
All right, pop some batteries on in. I'm here, Dr. Mario. Yes. All right. That sounds good too. Make sure all the buttons work. So we gotta make sure the select button works. All right, nice. Now I can game, bro. Ha ha. All right. All right. So. We got this here Game Boy Color to have some sound. We upgraded the speaker. We put new capacitors in. We desired the headphone jack and cleaned it out. Now we got a fully working Game Boy Color. And you know what? This thing's in pretty good shape other than missing the back door. So we just need to find a new back door and we're all good to go. So that's pretty cool. Nice. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it very much. And we'll see you next time.